everybody, it's Kay from Valere and today I'm going to be answering a very common injury question which is should you foam roll for ITB syndrome? So iliotibial band or ITB syndrome is one of the most prevalent causes of lateral knee pain in runners and triathletes. Many athletes experiencing ITB syndrome spend large amounts of time foam rolling the knee and around that area and the lateral part of the lower leg to try and help alleviate symptoms. But should you be foam rolling your ITB? The short answer is no. So let me explain and let me tell you what you can do instead. Now to optimally manage ITB syndrome, it's important to consider what the ITB actually is. So the ITB is a form of connective tissue that is strong and robust and it's there to provide stability to both the hip and the knee joints. It's required to be stiff as it transmits force and provides stability and is therefore not meant to be lengthened or stretched and nor can it be. So stretching and foam rolling the ITB are modalities that are commonly used by athletes to help manage ITB syndrome, yet these methods are not supported in the current literature. Foam rolling the ITB will not break up adhesions and it will not release knots. In fact, it can actually exacerbate symptoms as the foam roller can further compress and irritate the tissues. So what can you do instead? Well, currently research supports the following for ITB management. Number one is reducing and appropriately managing your training loads. So symptoms of ITB are usually exacerbated by downhill running and training load errors, meaning that there is generally an excessive or an increase or change in overall training loads. So have a look over your last few months of training and see if you can identify any training load errors. Try not to completely cease running or cycling or whatever your aggravating sport is, rather just dial back the volume. So start with a 30% decrease in volume and that may help and may be enough just to start with. Now number two to help ITB syndrome is addressing any running biomechanical issues. So if you're suffering from ITB issues, odds are you may have a narrow step width when you're running or your knees may come in towards the midline or your top tube when cycling. To address this, you can work on the following next point, which is tip number three, and that's improving hip strength and control. So generally individuals with ITB syndrome present with hip weakness and or poor hip control, which can exacerbate symptoms. So including strengthening and motor control exercises, which can target the glute strength and glute control and hip control can really help improve symptoms and get you back to pain-free running or cycling faster. So here's two of my go-to exercises when it comes to prescribing strengthening for ITB syndrome. Now, number one is hip hikes. So these are great for targeting the hip stabilizing muscles and working on improving control. They can generally also be completed pain-free in individuals with ITB syndrome. I would start with three sets of 15 if these are pain-free and complete them every other day. Exercise number two is Bulgarian split squats. So not only are these fantastic for targeting glute and overall lower limb strength, but they also enable you to focus on improving your knee tracking and your motor control of your lower limbs. With these, I would start with three sets of eight. If these feel okay, you can add some dumbbells and some loaders you can tolerate. And again, I would do them every other day to start with. Now in summary, the ITB is a really robust structure. It's responsible for knee and hip stability and foam rolling and stretching cannot lengthen the ITB. In fact, foam rolling over the ITB insertion point may actually make symptoms worse. Your ITB rehab should focus on training load management and hip strengthening and motor control. Now, if you are currently suffering from ITB syndrome or any other injuries and after a structured online rehab program created by a physiotherapist, make sure you check out our app for Larry. There are multiple rehab and strengthening programs for injuries such as ITB syndrome and Achilles tendinopathy and runner's knee. If you enjoyed this and want more information like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel and if you have any questions, pop them in the comments below and we'll see you next time.